hello guys welcome back and remember to write your name I'll write the actual name so my name is Jonathan and the date and the date for today is September 6 when I'm recording this okay and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do some start examples and with the help of the examples, I hope it will help you solve the rest. So, let's start with number 12. So, the direction says, write the value of the blue digit. So what this is, is that these are place values. We're trying to find the place value of the blue digit. Value just replace value. Okay, so remember that if it's just one digit, it's gone once. If you add a zero at the end, it's a tens. Makes sense, right? But if you add another zero, it's hundreds. And three zeros is a thousands. And then it kind of repeats itself. So if we go to four zeros, the fourth digit, or I guess the fifth digit, that would be ten thousands ten thousands so if we have so if there's a pattern like that every three um every time it goes to a third digit every time it goes by a comma it goes by tens hundreds thousands for each so then the next one will be like millions, so then 10 millions, 100 millions, 1,000 millions, so on. Okay, so since we know that this is in, the, this passes the thousands area, and it's the third digit, so there has to be two zeros. So since this is in the thousands area, it has two zeros over here, if we split it, I need a comma, then it's going to be hundred, hundred thousands. So therefore, this is in the hundred thousands. If that doesn't make sense, what I'm basically saying is that every three values, there's a comma that splits it, or the number splits, and then has its own sections. The first one doesn't have its own section, it just goes by ones, ten thousand, ones, tens, and hundreds, sorry. And then once it goes to the second section, passes one comma, it goes by thousands. So this is called thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And then the next one will be called millions, which goes by millions, ten millions, hundred millions sorry and we don't call it one millions because it doesn't make sense so the answer is for this one hundred thousands okay standard form is basically just writing the number plain and simple for example um let's just say 100 plus 20 Plus three. Basically, it was like that. You just add them all up, and the standard form will be 123. Or they'll probably write it out like 123. This is one. 100 means two zeros here. 20, and then three which is 123. So with that concept, so with that, oops, let's solve this. So um, this is pretty simple. You put 8,000 on top, 522. And then you go from left to right, so from top to bottom. 
So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus blank, which is 0, is 2. 0 plus 5, 5, and 8, which is 8. So the answer will be 8,522. Okay, moving on. The next one was a write in expanded form. What expanded form is, is the opposite of standard form. So the standard form means to make it simple, make it, yeah, make it simple. Then expanded form will be to write it out long. So for expanded form, we have to look at each place value and we have to add them. So let's start with the front here. So this is in a tens value. So this is 10,000 plus the second value is 1,000. And then there's, for the hundreds value, it's just a zero. So just skip it. And then this is in tens. So that's just 10. And then 2 in the ones place. And that's it. Um, for this one, same thing, but since 3 is in the 10 thousands value, then it's going to be like that, and so on. Okay, let's do one more problem. So, like I say, remember to underline important information and keywords and what they want. So, Mrs. Jones gives out two cookies to her students in, in the class or in class. If there are 11 students in the class, how many total cookies does Mrs. Jones give out? So that's important. So we know that Mrs. Jones gives out two cookies, two cookies per student to her students. So that means each student will get two cookies, very big cookies. And if there are 11 students, I'm not going to draw 11 students, how many total cookies did Mrs. Jones give out? So we're trying to find out the amount of cookies that Mrs. Jones give out. We know that she gives out two cookies to her students and there are 11 students in the classroom. So that means each student got two cookies and there are 11 students. So 2 times 11 is the equation and the answer is 22 because 11 plus 11, 22. And yeah, that's it. Remember to write your units. So she gave out 22 cookies. And box your answer. Okay, that's it. I hope that was simple. Hope that was easy. Good luck, guys, and have a fun time. See you next time. Bye.